Hello everyone, and welcome back to my vlog channel. I've got something on my camera lens, what is that? So as you can probably see, not currently at home. Me and James are actually up in Coventry. Well, where we're staying is called, I can't remember the area where we're staying at. But we have basically come up for the big weekend festival with BBC Radio 1, and I am so excited to be here. Basically, I got an email a few weeks ago saying that would I like to come? And there was some sort of like press tickets available. And to be honest, I have got no idea why they picked me, but I am so, so grateful and so excited. I literally freaked out when I read the email. So yeah, I was like, of course, would absolutely love to come to the big weekend. I haven't actually been to this festival before and I haven't been to a festival in a few years since before COVID, so I'm really, really excited. And I thought I would just do a bit of vlogging while I was getting ready. I didn't vlog last night, so we got here last night on Friday. Today is Saturday and we're staying until Monday morning. The hotel that we booked, um, I just, basically my dad grew up in Coventry and so I asked him where's a sort of like nicest area to stay nearby. Um, and he suggested a few places and we booked this place, which I think is like a 15 minute drive from Coventry itself and this hotel is called Chessford Grange Hotel and Spa so it does have like a pool and stuff downstairs but I don't actually know if we're gonna have time to use it I basically just went ahead and booked this one because I thought it was close enough to the venue and I could park here and stuff and it wasn't sort of like in the city center so it's probably gonna be a bit quieter um but yeah so I am just getting myself ready by the window sat on the floor because it's where the best lighting is and today I think Ed Sheeran is playing, he's playing first, which we thought he was gonna be, be on a bit later in the day. So we were like, oh, we don't need to sort of like rush about to get there, but he's on first apparently. Um, and so now we're rushing around to get there. <laughs> yeah, so now we're rushing around to try and get there because we'd really love to see Ed Sheeran. Who else is on today? Calvin Harris um, is playing later. AJ Tracy, H, KSI. Yep. Uh, Anne Marie. Yep. So there's some great people playing and oh my God, tomorrow, Harry Styles is headlining, which we are both very excited for. So that should be really, really good. The only slight downside is it's quite cold. <laughs> so most of the outfits that I've sort of like brought with me are more like summery festival outfits, but obviously it's the UK. So it's like 15 degrees, but you know what? I brought tights, I came prepared. Uh, I'm just gonna wear them anyway, but I'm just doing my makeup, getting myself ready, and then we will be leaving, hopefully, shortly. So I will catch up with you in a bit. The guest list with the Swedish half mafia. She's a universality. The last one. The last one. The last one. The last one. We are still kids and we're so in love. Fighting against all odds. Dancing in the dark. Would you teach me? pictures and everything like that. So we got ready and then we realised that we checked the like lineup of the running order and originally we thought that Ed Sheeran was on before Calvin Harris, which is like the last act. And so we were too bothered. Who's that that's on now? Uh, C Central C? Central C, yeah. We weren't in like a mad rush to get here. And then we saw that Ed was on first at 12.30 and we'd like had a late breakfast, had a lion and everything. So quickly got ready, drove to the park and ride, got to the park and ride and there was a massive queue for the buses to get on. And so we got, we basically got here and we could, we missed Ed's first two songs. We could hear them like playing. Ed was amazing. We're now just in the little like guest area bit, just sat down, having a drink, we're gonna have some snacks and then we're gonna go back out. I got myself a hat, so don't get burned.
We just went to see KSI, we did get ourselves some food. We got some fried chicken and chips, but we honestly ate it so quick on the way to go see KSI that I didn't even vlog it. But I got myself a hat because my scalp was getting burnt and I forgot to bring a hat with me. Who's on next? It's H, Amory, Youngblood, Calvin Harris. KSI, oh hello. Honestly, KSI was like, it was so good. It was so good. Yeah, it was. Can you get there? Really lucky with the weather today, actually. The weather's actually quite, quite all right. It's, it's hot. It's sunny. So look what I've just seen. What? Coffee milkshakes and bubble tea. <gasps> Around the side bit, there's a whole load of shops, like vintage shops, places you can get hats. There's a sweet thing. James just got a football shirt. It's really cool, actually. I'm coming to get an ice cream. <laughs> How many we paid nine pound for two ice creams? Yeah, I know. on my heart she was incredible so good she actually sounds exactly like she does in her songs like she does not use auto tune well if she does she doesn't need it she was amazing we just had a little break before young blood it's been such a good day Beans, <laughs> cocoa pops. We then have fried chicken and chips. James had a pizza, and I'm now having a pork and gravy bat. Like right, just what I needed. What would you rate it? Maybe an eight out of ten. Give it, give it, give it a little food review. Give it a little, little, little shift I Give it an eight. An eight. Only because the pork kind of tastes like it's been sitting there all day and it's a bit dried out. Oh. But it tastes really good. To be fair, it has been sitting there all day and it probably has dried out because it's now seven o'clock, but it's really nice. So does food reviews. <laughs> oh. Let me turn it this way. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. You're literally balanced on top of an empty water bottle. <laughs> but hello, we are actually back from the festival now. We've come back to the hotel. We didn't actually stay till the very, very end. We were just both really, really tired and tomorrow we want to stay 
till the end to see Harry Styles. So we thought that we would go home and get some rest before tomorrow. We'd been there since the start today and we had such a good day. It was so, so good. I didn't even get to show you this morning sort of like my makeup and my outfit and stuff, but this is what makeup I went for. James actually said to me earlier, he looked at me and he was like, your makeup has lasted really well. On my base, I'm wearing the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, and then I used the e.l.f. setting spray, the little like green bottle one. I don't have it right next to me, but it's the e.l.f. setting spray in like the pale green bottle. I used that and my makeup has literally lasted all day. I did powder once, but that was only a couple hours ago. But on my eyes, I used my Super Spice palette. I used the shades Cookie Dough and Cereal. And then the glitter in the middle of my eyes is actually this from Kiko. I used this in a video on my main channel uh, the other day. I don't actually know if it's going up before or after this vlog, but this is in the shade 02. And it's like a pressed glitter eyeshadow. And I've got that all over my lids. And then I just put a little crystal from Amazon on it. And then I'll put in a picture of my outfit. This dress was from Zara. My jacket was from New Look. My boots were from Everything Five Pounds, which is like a website where you, everything, it's five pounds, surprise, surprise. But they buy stock of shops that are sort of like stuff that hasn't sold so that it doesn't go to landfill basically. So it's it comes from various different like high street fashion brands and they just like buy stuff that hasn't sold. And yeah, I got a pair of cowboy boots. And you know what? It's a good job that we came back to the hotel because <laughs> my camera and battery just died. And I left my two spare camera batteries on charge in the hotel room. And as soon as we got to the park and ride, I was like, no. Oh, and these sunglasses are from Claire's. I know that they're not gonna be for everyone. I think they're pretty cool. But yeah, oh, I ended up buying a bucket hat. James is just in the bath watching the football, by the way, because <laughs> there's a big game on tonight. But I got this bucket hat. I've never worn a bucket hat in my life because I didn't really think that they suited me, but I actually quite like this one. And I needed a hat basically because it was really, really hot. Well, it wasn't actually really hot. It was more just that we were in the sun all day and I completely forgot to bring a hat with me. Even when it's not blaringly hot all day, if you're gonna be outside all day, you're probably gonna get sunburned. So I got this. And then just before we left, I went to get a bum bag because I brought a little backpack with me. And then I also had like a little bag that literally just fit my phone in it. But having the backpack on all day was just a bit annoying. And when I was like dancing and stuff, I felt like I was bashing into people. So I thought it would just be easy to get a bum bag and this was you know what it smells of real leather and it feels like real leather it's really really soft but it was only 12 pounds this was from the festival and i reckon i can fit my camera in there and my phone that will be really really handy for tomorrow and also i've wanted a black bum bag for ages but i've just never bought one so i thought i will probably make good use of that and it can be like a future bag for situations like this where i want to have free hands like for concerts and stuff so that was that and we did very quickly pop to asda just to get a couple of bits before we came back here because there's an Asda like 10 minutes from the hotel. The one thing I will say, actually two things I will say if you are going to a festival. Um, first of all, if you're going to like a similar festival where they've got a park and ride, make sure you leave plenty of time for the park and ride because we didn't because we didn't realise that Ed Sheeran was going to be on first until literally this morning when we woke up and read like the set times. We thought it was going to be on like second to last before Calvin Harris because that was originally what it sort of like appeared like in the lineup. But yeah, so we drove to the park and ride today and um, we booked the tickets in advance. I think it was like... 20 quid maybe for both days for the park and ride which really wasn't too bad we were considering like getting an uber but then we thought what if we can't find an uber or a cab to take us there which we probably would have done to be fair like it didn't seem too busy today but yeah when we turned up to the park and ride there was a massive queue of people which like we didn't really consider so take that into consideration if you aren't getting one of the park and rides there's probably going to be queues and second thing we meant to bring a portable charger. On the drive to Coventry, we were both like, why did we not bring a portable charger? We're gonna be outside all day. Our phones are probably gonna die. They do have a sort of like station where you can hire a portable charger. I think it was 10 pounds, but you have to also put down a 10 pound deposit. So it was like 20 quid. And then you get the 10 pounds back at the end of the day if you bring it back. But we thought just to make life easier so we don't have to rush about to return the portable charger at the end of tomorrow, because I'd imagine there's probably gonna be a queue. And you have to return it before 11 and Harry Styles finishes at 10.30 and then to walk from the main stage to the portable charger bit and then if there's like queues and crowds we might not make it before 11 anyway. We thought we'd just buy one from Asda so we got a portable charger. I also bought an HDMI cable so I can plug my laptop into the TV to watch the Kardashians. I got four sachets of 
Cadbury instant hot chocolate because we do have a kettle in here but they've only got tea and coffee and I just really fancied a hot chocolate. So I thought this is enough for one for me and James tonight and then also tomorrow if we fancy it. And there were four for a pound. We got a big old bottle of water and then some chocolate. One of James's favourites is Maltesers. Some of my favourites are Mint Aero and Galaxy Salted Caramel. The caramel one is good but the salted caramel one is next level. So that was day one of Radio 1 Big Weekend. I probably would have put in some footage of um, the different artists that we saw today. I think our favourites from today. Obviously Ed Sheeran was amazing but because he was the first one that we saw and we were sort of didn't really know where to sort of stand to get the best view and stuff. We were in like a big crowd of people to the left of the stage whereas for some reason it was way less crowded around the right hand side of the stage which is where we stood for the rest of like our time there. So Ed was amazing it was really really good to see him and Marie was amazing she is so her voice is incredible and they had a load of confetti which was really fun. Some of the clips I probably included were actually shot on my phone because my phone seemed to be filming better footage than on my camera. It can zoom in further anyway so yeah I filmed a lot of it on my phone but only like little clips and stuff um, because one I don't want to get copyrighted and two I didn't want to be recording like the whole songs because I wanted to like you know enjoy myself. I still enjoy myself when I'm filming though to be honest sometimes it actually helps me to kind of see a bit more if I can't see over people I'll hold my phone up and sort of film it and I can view it from my phone. <laughs> KSI was really good it was really cool to see him like up on stage like having the time of his life so that was really cool and weirdly we were stood next to Ollie Ball does anyone know Ollie Ball from like I can't remember the other guy's name but they went viral on TikTok like last year for being like hi it's Ollie Ball here and like I can't even remember what they did but he was right next to us and he like got up on some guy's shoulders and also the Moffat family from Gogglebox was stood in front of us for like the whole set of Youngblood and funnily enough actually earlier on in the day um when me and James were sat in sort of there was like a guest area bit where they had some toilets and a bar and stuff which we were lucky enough to sort of go into and we were sat on a table and Scarlett and I think it was her mum was sort of eyeing up our table and I'd gone to the toilet and James was by himself and they were sort of like looking at James by himself I think because he was sat on this like big table by himself waiting for him to move and then as soon as we got off a move they were like go 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 and went and took our table and then me and James just looked at each other like that was Scarlett Moffat and we were literally watching her on TV this morning. She was presenting some like dating show and then it was really weird to see that she was just there. Young Blub is amazing. He's got so much energy. He's so like he's just nuts like he was really cool to watch we've had a really good day i'm so excited for tomorrow because harry styles is playing i really want to see rena sawayama tomorrow because i recently discovered her music and you know what i'm gonna li be listening to loads of her songs tonight she's got a new song out called this hell and it is 10 out of 10 it's such a good song so i think she's playing tomorrow on the future sound stage so we'll try and go and watch her also charlie xcx is playing tomorrow lord is playing harry styles obviously this is my dress by the way i'm actually gonna go get changed because i want to get changed out of my dress and i just want to put on my pajamas and james is gonna watch the football i'm gonna watch the kardashians then we might watch a movie i'm gonna eat some snacks have a hot chocolate and then we're gonna have an early night so i will see you guys tomorrow good night Good morning everyone. James is just in the background here watching some videos while I get ready. We actually just went for a swim. We got up, we had breakfast. We went for a swim because the hotel had a pool and we thought we would make some use of it while we're here. And we're now just gonna get ourselves ready and then head over to the festival. Today I'm actually wearing this top, which is also from Everything Five Pounds. The label in it says Copper Rose. I'm wearing this today and it matches my nail color, which is, I think it's Miley Once in a Blue Moon. And I'm also gonna do some graphic liner to try and match it as well. So I'm gonna use this shade from my Glisten Cosmetics palette. And that's what I'm gonna do for my makeup. I'm gonna do the exact same basis yesterday because it lasted so well. Um, and yeah, we just gonna get ourselves ready. This was the setting spray that I was talking about yesterday, by the way, the, oh, what is that on the side of it? The e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I used this with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, and that seemed to be a winning combination because it literally lasted so well all day. So today I'm gonna do the exact same. I am ready to go. This is what my makeup looks like. I really, I'm really, really happy with it actually. I just stuck on some crystals, did some liner. It matches my top really well. And I've just got on some shorts, just some shorts. And I did put some tights on as well because it's quite cold. And then I'm gonna put on my cowboy boots and have my little bum bag as well. But yeah, this is my look for day two. And um, we're about to head off.
guys. So, hello. We have been to see Rina Sawayama, who was absolutely amazing. I actually only discovered her music a few weeks back, but her new single called This Hell is so good, and she is such a good performer. Sorry, I'm just eating some spinach. We've just come and sat down for a bit before, I think Chase and Status is on, right? It came up They're on the screen. Right are they? No, you would hear it louder. Yeah, I think they were supposed to be on yesterday, but it just came up on the screen that they were today. And then Charlie XCX is on, Lord is on, and then Harry Styles. So we're just having some dinner now. I think it's about six o'clock. This is my lovely pizza. I'm just snacking on before we go and stand up for about four hours to wait for Harry, but it'll be worth it. <laughs>
music out, if you support me over the last couple of years, several years, 12 years, whatever it is. Thank you so much. My album came out this time last week. And I just want to thank you for all the support so far. It's been an unbelievable week for me. I'm so, so happy. Thank you so, so much for everything you've done. Thank you. outfit today turned into bum bag jumper jacket because it was a bit chilly oh. 
but I just want to say now before I maybe forget in the morning because we've got to leave quite early tomorrow morning because James is working in the afternoon. First of all, it was amazing. All of the acts that we saw were incredible. Thank you so much to Radio 1 BBC for having us. Thank I, you, BBC. I don't quite know why I was invited, but I'm so, so grateful that we were. It was so much fun. I'm going to go take my makeup off. It's lasted decently well, you know, and I'm going to get into bed because we are shattered but it's been a really really good weekend i hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog maybe i'll see you in the next one bye do you want to say bye james bye <laughs>